Hello and welcome again to VW Feasts. Today we're going to cook a Goan pork curry, or more typically called pork vindaloo. As always, all the full recipes and ingredients are in the description. Uh, today we're using pork. Uh, you can substitute for chicken or other meats if you want to make a different vindaloo. And we're going to make a number of different components which can be made in a uh, different order than we see them in the film. We want to make a curry paste, which is the vindaloo paste, a traditional garlic and ginger base, and of course the meat as well. Um, always thought to be a really, really hot curry, but you can make it as hot or spicy as you like. It's things like the vinegar that give it quite a different flavour. So we'll start by making some of the curry paste. We'll take the dried spices and put them into what was once a really expensive coffee bean grinder, but it's now a spice mill. So mix all those together, get them blended down to a really fine crumb. Of course, making sure there's no big chunks of cinnamon left in there, as we want this to dissolve completely into the paste. It really was a very good coffee bean grinder once. Then we're going to add that to a mixture of vinegar, sugar and salt to make the first part of our paste. As you can see it's slightly dissolving. Next, garlic and ginger. And you'll notice that garlic corn just there means it can't shut. So if you open it up again, move that bulb. There you go. Blend it down and add water to make a, a nice little paste that you can add on later. So first of all, take the onions and fry them. And the VW said it's really important to note that what we're doing, as opposed to Western cooking, when you'd be try to uh, just soften them and just turn them translucent, we're going for a, a proper caramelization. So this is slow and low uh, frying of them, so they a nice deep golden brown. As you can see, low heat, slowly cook them until they become beautifully sweet and caramelized. Then when we've got the color we want, we take them out and put them back into the blender. It's going to form the final part of our curry paste. So a bit more oil in the pan, and then we're going to add in the pork. A high heat to start with, just so we want to brown it, seal it in. Basic seal down, top goes back on, and we leave it to cook and steam in its own juices. Now, blending down the onions there, fried, you can see a nice smooth paste, and we add it back into the rest of the curry paste, which have the dried spices as well as the vinegar, salt, sugar. We create this really beautiful vindaloo paste and that's the one part you could perhaps do separately and keep apart and then just combine with different meats to make a different vindaloo. Okay we've got the meat as we want it and we're just setting that aside keeping those juices. Little bit of the juice on back on the meat, stop it from drying out. Don't need quite that much. 
and then to this we're adding back the garlic and ginger we made earlier. And then the remaining dried spices as well. So just get that starting to cook. So you see the turmeric really give it colour. Back, add all the pork back to that. Stir that in properly. Add in our beautiful vindaloo paste. And as you can see, it's quite a thick paste because of the onions. We don't make sure we don't want to lose any of that. You spent so much effort making it, so. First of all, in with the spatula, just to get some more out. And finally, add a bit more water, but just rinse out that, making sure you get every last bit of that beautiful curry paste. Slosh them on the cooker as well, if you want. Stir all that through, make sure everything's lovely coated and even. that to cook on a gentle heat for another 20 minutes. As I said, if you want it hotter, add more chilli. If you want it milder, camp chilli. Then you get these beautiful, beautiful cubes of highly flavoured meat. And then serve them with rice or bread. Go and pour curry. Enjoy. Enjoy.